remember when I was in high school, I pulled up to a gas pump. It was a full surf station. I looked at the pump and it was 32 cents a gallon. I says, it'll be a cold day in hell when I pay 32 cents a gallon. Can't believe I used to buy gas for 26 cents a gallon. Gas is really expensive. It's amazingly expensive. I don't enjoy filling up my car. I probably would have bought a different car. It sucks that I have to pay so much. Driving my truck was about $100 every three days. I'm a superintendent for r and construction. I've uh, been in construction for 35 years. I like to come to work every day. Everything really revolves around oil, from getting products here to getting concrete here. Last year, we had a bid to do an asphalt parking lot. From the time they bid it to the time they actually put the asphalt in, the asphalt went up 20%. Five years ago, you could buy concrete for $55 a yard. Now it's around 120. One of the things that underpins assumptions around a free market economy is um, infinite substitutability. Uh, that if you start running out of one resource, you can substitute something else. Oil isn't like that. Oil is the most, sort of, in one sense, this incredibly miraculous energy dense substance that accumulated over uh, hundreds of millions of years um, that we've blown in about a space of a hundred years on this binge of oil. That fossil fuels were finite resources. That said, we've been treating them as though their renewable resources are infinitely re renewable. Right now, unfortunately, we're being asked to uh, stay addicted to our car culture. Westerners especially are going to be seen from a historical perspective as the oil tribe. We found this amazing substance that gushed out of the, what, the earth. We figured out what to do with it and the energy density has been miraculous. I think offshore oil drilling, uh, Alaska offers a lot of uh, prospects. All this new drilling they want to open up is not going to help us for years and years and years. Uh, I think one of the reasons right now where we are prices where it's at is they've reduced the refining capacity in our country. Years ago in the 80s I worked up in Evanston, Wyoming a lot and I know they they drilled a lot of oil wells and capped them and I think they're just kind of holding off for them until it's a must to open them up. If those wells are capped Either it's really still not economical to tap those, that the last remaining resources are really essentially unobtainable, or the second, if it costs more than the energy in a barrel of oil to raise a barrel of oil, it's a losing battle from an energetic standpoint, separate from a dollar value. We're thinking about seriously looking into getting a scooter. Right now, I'm I'm riding a little 1974 moped, Vespa moped. Gets 180 miles a gallon. There is not good public transportation because the United States hasn't done a good job. I uh, I parked my GMC truck, and I'm driving a Toyota Camry. I think, I think the government needs to be involved and see when uh, the oil companies turn in a billion dollar profit to kind of regulate that. We really need to support uh, policies that especially help the most vulnerable amongst us, the elderly, low income, people that are really truly dependent. Um, when we start seeing things like Meals on Wheels programs being cut back because our public agencies can't fund the fuel for those fleets or volunteers can't afford to put fuel in their cars we're really facing some pretty critical issues. I think it's important for us all to um, grapple with the high cost of gas, to make our peace with it, uh, to become more efficient and to move on, basically. If the, if the fuel would level out and let everybody kind of know the price, that it's going to be, I think everybody could kind of get used to that instead of having it go up every other day. I think we need to be uh, wise enough to say that's it. There's, there are sacred things on this planet that are more important 
than driving our SUVs down to the last possible drop. You know, I want to put the nail in that coffin of the SUV and have it stay closed, but we'll see. It seems as though the era of the SUV is rapidly going by the wayside. If it stays at four here uh, for a longer period, I think it may be better off for us in the long term if we, you know, that happens. I understand that you know, we need to try to do something to provide some relief. But if we, if it goes down too fast and too far, it, people will get back in their old habits.